Hey YouTube, what's up? I promised you something uh, interesting coming up from my last video and it's been a little while since I uploaded a video so f sorry for that. I'm going to try and do some more a little more often but uh, um, I want to share this with you that uh, I actually had the opportunity to be showcased as a local tech expert in uh, Toronto on breakfast television. So check this out. Enjoy. Instead of talking, maybe you want to text. I don't know, Twitter. I'm just saying you could do it now with the help of this man. Time is 844. Good morning, everybody. Daniel Gauthier joins me with Twin Bytes Inc. We're talking about this book. I love the little pun. Technology. Everything you need to know about getting started, whether you're a small business, student, family. So we're going to go through all the categories because it's very daunting. There's so many choices out there. Good morning, Daniel. It is. Good morning, Dina. Thanks for having me. Oh, thanks for being here. It's Let's great. begin with the student. If someone's going off to college or they just want to get started, what sorts of things do they need as a startup? Well, for students, for one thing, they want to keep things very inexpensive and it's got to work for them. So the netbooks now that they've uh, been out for a little while, they're a lot less expensive than a regular laptop and they're portable and it it's, it's gives them everything they need. There's only a couple of things that they might need to be aware of is that you can't easily plug in a lot of external devices okay. that you can with a regular laptop. But it's lightweight, it's the size of a small notebook, so for lecture halls and things like that, it's super convenient. Yes. Yeah, okay. and the backups are important for them as well. So I've included a couple of things like an external hard drive you can plug in with a USB cable or even a couple of USB flash drives or pen drives. They're called different names. And very easy to store a little bit of information so they don't lose their homework. Okay, so, so no what we're more looking at is about $300, the backup and the USB. That's all they need. Okay, so yeah. up next, small business, you need a little bit more. Larger laptop, more memory. Yes. Yes, it gives you a lot more as well as I said, now you can plug in the peripherals. You have a CD DVD player where the netbook doesn't have that. Okay. So that's very important for the business as well. Uh, one of the things is having the portability, taking it from the home to the office, mm -hmm. but at the same time they want to connect in to the office or if you have branch office locations you want to connect. It used to be really expensive to do that yeah. and you'd have to uh, buy expensive equipment and have a technician that's highly trained in how to hook all this up. You don't need that anymore. Okay. Now with some software you can download. It's very easy. Most people can do that on their own. Awesome. Up next, the young family introducing technology. So what are we looking at for the basics here? I got a couple of simple little things. I've got a uh, digital picture frame, which is so simple. You can use a USB uh, device okay. or take the uh, camera memory card out of your camera and put it directly into the frame, turn it on. You've got a slideshow going Enjoy instead of just it. a still frame. So mm. it's really cool to have. The other thing is telephones. Everybody's talking on the phone all the time. Now introducing video chat into that. You get a headset like this, a webcam, plug it into your laptop or your desktop, download a free program, again free, like Skype or MSN Messenger, and now you've got instant video chat with friends, family. We should incorporate this. See, we don't have to pay for the expensive live eyes anymore. Kim for just like, no, no. Hey, Jen, I see you. Okay, up next we have uh, the media loving family. Yeah, this now, I, I put a, a desktop system here because usually you'll need more power and you're going to want a bigger screen to watch video on. You can also do it with a netbook even or a laptop, one okay. of the smaller things, but this gives you more power, more room for growth, and the cooling capabilities are greater and the expansion capabilities, just mm. too much to talk about. They're built for use. But yeah, now the thing is a lot of people also have a Wii system or an Xbox in their home, yeah. like I put a Wii system there. And you can now link the two together. So your television can now access the TV, or your, your television, your can, television can access screen. the computer, and the computer can access, you know, vice versa. And if you need help with that, make sure you go with the service that offers that, as well as any backup, or if I remember the days when your computer would crash right as you were finishing that 20 page paper, make sure you have somebody there who can help you recover and protect against viruses and things like that, right? Reputable oh, companies. Yes. For more information, everybody, twinbytes.ca or www.tech-knowledgebook.com is in 
K N O W or breakfasttelevision.ca. Thanks, Daniel. Uh oh. Thank you. Kevin's has his eyes on shopping, the prize. Shopping. Shopping. And this shopping. is the guy who was talking about mm. getting off the grid. Never gonna happen. No, we'll I, be back with more VT after will. this. Not even for a minute. And we're back. <laughs> time to take a look at what's happening with traffic and weather together. You always do that. Every uh, time at this time. <laughs> let's check on your traffic and weather picture. Here's a